To be honest, I feel like I have a grip on it right now and I'm sure that, you know, tomorrow I'll feel differently. No, but right now I feel like I'm in a really good place. I've taken a lot of the COVID experience and really, you know, paid attention to myself and my mental health and was able to really get to a, a really steady, good place. Okay, so um, exercise is number one. Um, even if I just get in like a 30 minute, I used to be like, I have to work out for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, like I need to get it in, I have to do this, this, this. I was so controlling about it. But now I realize like, as long as I get in some sort of elevated heart rate, um, it really helps my brain, mm -hmm. like in an immense way. And I've even been getting up super early, not for my body, but for my mind, um, to just get in even 20 minutes if I can. Um, so exercise is definitely number one. Number two would be meditation and candle lighting. So like um, I set an intention. I get these candles from a place called, I'm totally blanking on the name right now. Um, shit, why am I blanking? They're like these little stores all around LA. Anyway, I get these candles and I set some sort of intention, whether it's creativity, calmness, gratitude, whatever, you know, the meal of the day is. And then I'll light those candles and then I'll try to meditate um, for again, at least five minutes um, in a quiet space and just really try to clear my mind. I studied Transcendental Meditation. Um, it's like a four day class and I was really into it. And I would, my ultimate goal is to get back to that. It's 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening. Um, and so I learned that form of meditation and so I do it the same meditation now like at five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes once a day. I figure if I'm doing anything it's better than nothing but my ultimate goal will be that I'm doing the transcendental in the morning and at night because when I was doing it it really 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 works. I like to get silly with my children so you know one thing that really brings me joy is we've gotten into watching family survivor it's just survivor but we watch it as a family and it's been such a a joyous occasion that everyone in the family can enjoy um and then my other kids my two older kids and now my youngest sorry my husband sometimes is like the curse words but um rupaul's drag race so we're there's so many franchises now and one of my friends is a judge on the Canadian one. So we've been watching that as a family as well. So I love that. it makes me so happy. I love TV. I love entertainment. Yeah. I'm not afraid to say it. Well, I feel like, you know, sex life is like a big part of, you know, your relationship. And so it is important that you do it. And, <laughs> You know, I've been married for 18 years and dated him before that. And so, you know, it's like, how many things can you do, you know? And I think it's like important that you're aware of whether or not you are being active in your, you know, sexual endeavors. So if you realize you aren't, then you need to put it on the menu. Like it has to happen. It just should happen. And, you know, it can be simple things, just even like cuddling and, you know, laughing and, you know, or, or down and dirty, go all the way, home, home run, baby, you know, whatever it is. But it, it definitely, you know, feeling that connection and look, I mean, sometimes, yeah, everybody's like, I'm tired, I don't feel like doing it. But at the end of the day, it's like working out, like you never regret it, you know? <laughs> I am so down, I, I am not on any, but I have so many friends that are. I know my mom, when she was like dealing, when she got sick, she went on them and it like, she told me, she's like, I wish I had taken these my entire life. Like it just set me straight. So I am such an advocate for any sort of medication you want, um, any sort of supplement you want that's gonna make you function better, that's gonna make your mind happier. Like, you know, living in, I have been depressed and living in depression is, it's a terrible place to be. And so, you know, I think people can judge. And I think before I knew everything, I'd be like, you know, you should try to really just do therapy and exercise and eat right and sleep right and da da da. And like, you know, it's so easy. You don't need Medicaid, but it's not true. And 
you know, this chemical, if you have something that can free you to make you function better, like why not? You know, I think that goes for like everything across the board. Like if it makes you happy, like do it. And everyone needs to just stop judging each other. You know, that's why you're fucking depressed in the first place. <laughs>